Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Hi, hello. If you are new here, my name is Ash and I am just your average stranger on the internet who happens to love anime, manga, shopping, music, video games, and did I mention shopping to an unhealthy extent. So if <laughs> you watched my previous video, previous two videos, um, I just got back from being gone for two weeks and I had a couple of unboxings that I needed to do so I'm going to do them back to back because I cannot wait to open packages and I like to open packages on camera. So the first one I just did was a Neo Kiel haul. It was my second Neo Kiel haul ever and it was smaller than my first one but it still was a fairly long video to film. And then my next one is actually going to be my Ami Ami October haul. And then I'm also going to throw in a figure from Deki Anime, Dekai Anime, that got delivered while I was gone for the past two weeks. So, I used to ship everything whenever the pandemic started with Ami Ami via C-mail, but I, I'm, I'm going to say this in every video until I move. My living situation, I am moving sometime in 2022, I'm not sure exactly when I'm moving. So I don't want to have any packages stuck in C-mail. So whatever packages I have left in C-mail, I'm just going to let them get to me. And then after that, I'm just going to pay for DHL, FedEx, or EMS, which is fucking expensive, or UPS shipping. And if it's over $100, I'm just going to have to ship to my mom's house. And then whenever my mom helps me move, she's going to bring whatever packages I had shipped there. She's going to bring them to my new place because I'm moving in 2022 for work. That's the lowdown, so that's why I ended up with my October? No, November. This we're in December. This is November's haul. That's why I ended up with this bad boy so quickly. And this one's actually gonna be fairly lengthy. Not as long as my my December Ami Ami haul. Spoiler, that one's gonna be fucking absurd. But DHL shipping for this package, granted this is only a 100 size box, I do not have any figures in this order and I don't think I have any manga. It, it was only like, it was less than $50, which I've been paying around $75 for DHL from Ami Ami, so to see it at 50 I was like, nice! I was excited! And as always, Ami Ami comes with a cute little comic from Amikai, and this is the Santa Amikai because we are in December right now. And this is my November haul. I'm going to put this on my little uh, Wi-Fi little stand box thing I have over here, and we're just going to dive into it. So the first thing I picked up here is it looks to be a shit ton of clear files and maybe some stickers too. So um, I'm so deep in my Tokyo Revengers love, so the majority of this haul will be Tokyo Revengers. I'm not sure if there's going to be anything else that isn't Tokyo Revengers from this Ami Ami haul to be honest, even though I literally just paid for it and it got it shipped. I don't remember what I ordered. <laughs> so the couple of oh okay, so these are not Ami or these are not Tokyo Revengers theme, but these are travel stickers. I adore travel stickers. They're from Jujutsu Kaisen. So we have my one of my favorite characters, which is a Toru Gojo. I will pick up almost any merch of him, but I had to stop that because he has too much merch now. And finally, I have a travel sticker of uh, Sukuna. So these are the two travel stickers. And these are the second round of travel stickers, I believe. And from that set, I only chose to pick uh, Sukuna and Satoru because the rest of the characters, I, I like them, but not as much as I like Satoru and I just don't have enough merch of Sukuna in my collection for my liking. And then the next thing I picked up here is just a sticker set at Tokyo Revengers and this is some like some casual wear. This is the R, um, collabor collaboration with R4G and I really 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 like this like I think all the boys the three boys here look amazing once again. Draken has amazing style. I, I love Draken's style. So yeah I'm glad to have that in my collection. 
really glad to pick up those stickers. Stickers are wonderful collector pieces. I think I say that about everything, but uh, stickers really are wonderful collector's pieces. And then, yeah, it looks like this is just a fuck ton of clear files. So we'll just get started. The first clear file we have here is of Mikey from Tokyo Avengers, and this is just a clear file just of scenes of Mikey from the first season. I really like that. Um, I love anything that has Mikey on it, especially just pictures of him from the anime. And then next is a clear file of the Tolman group. These are all of the captains, plus Takamichi, which is technically a captain, but... And then the next clear file is a clear file of Baji, and this is just a photo collection of Baji in a clear file form. And it's really nice. Clear files are a really great price, too. And then the only clear file I picked up from the R, R4G, which is apparently Respect for Geeks collaboration they did with Tokyo Avengers, they had clothes, which, not gonna lie, I probably would have liked both of these items that Mikey was wearing. I just didn't get to the free order in time. But I just picked up the Mikey clear file, and Mike, so it has Mikey front and center and the R4G collaboration clothes. And then it just has some steals from the anime. And these don't, these look like a mixture of like openings and some actual anime shots. And then I have this three folder clear file from Tokyo Avengers. And this is like one of the special artworks that came out in a magazine. And this is, I think one of the first artworks. But this is a uh, Draken and Mikey. Beautiful. I really love this three like three file three folder clear file. Struggling here. My last video was an hour. I do not want to make this one an hour, so I'm going to try to speed through this. The next item I have here is a picture collection of Keisuke Baji from Togo Avengers in a clear file, and this is just what it looks like. Like I said, clear files are great collector pieces. You can usually pick up clear files for under 500 yen, under five US dollars. And they're just, they're either beautiful artwork or they're just filled, filled with like, ooh, they're filled with pictures from the actual anime. I got sneeze. Not gonna sneeze. But the next item I have here is another clear file. Once again, I think this is from um, the artwork that was done for a separate magazine. But this is just a Chifuyu. And while I am discovering why Chifuyu is so great, Chifuyu is not one of my favorite characters. So I don't always buy stuff of him. But I do like this clear file. So I ended up getting it. Because he looks really good. And... Clear files are a great price. And then this clear file is just pictures from the actual anime. So it just has a bunch of scenes, like iconic scenes from the anime. So here you have Mitsuya and Hawkeye, so the second division and his vice captain, first division Baji and his co captain. Um, a picture of the captains down here all of Tolman whenever they came to fight Mobius with them and then just some random like scenes inlaid in the background this is really cool I really enjoy this um <laughs> this is the first division clear file from Tiger Avenger so it has our first division boys on here and it's just a clear file focused around them so you have Hanageki, and then Baji, and finally Shibuyu. That's that. And it's just the amazing first division in Tolman. And then this clear file is focused on the actual founders of Tolman. So the six boys that founded Tolman are focused heavily on this clear file. 
So you have Mikey and Draken and Kazutora and Baji and Mitsuya and Pachin. Their picture down here. And this is where they are like pledging their lives to Mikey for the gang. And then to kind of break up the continuity <laughs> in the Tiger Avengers clear files, I picked up a clear file of Hatsune, 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 oh my gosh, Hatsune Miku XRX school. And all the vocaloids there. On the front, you just have some chibi, it looks like fairy tale characters. So you have Red Riding Hood, Rapunzel, Aladdin, um, Robin Hood. God damn. Uh, probably Snow White and Cinderella. <laughs> Me struggling. And then on the back you actually have them like their normal art style of Frost School and these look amazing. Don't know who the Vocaloids are. I know that's Miku, Lin, uh, Ren and Lin, Kaito, Luca, I don't, I don't know who she is. But I love this clear file. I love Hatsune Miku. I think Hatsune Miku is so cute. There's a fire alarm going off. I think Hatsune Miku is so cute and I just have a lot of clear files of her. And then the next clear file I picked up, is, this is from the second go. I did pick up an item from the first go of this. It just is stuck in C-mail somewhere. And this is Baji in the varsity jacket. So his varsity jacket has like an eagle on it and that's what the logic looks like. This is the back. And this is kind of where I was saying sometimes they just don't get Baji's face 100% nice to look at. And this artwork, his face isn't like the best. He definitely kind of looks deranged here. And then the next one is just a clear file of our main boys from the Valhalla arc. So you have Kazutora, and then Mikey, and Hanageki, Draken, and Baji, and their casual clothes, and this is the back. Ah, this clear file. So this is probably one of my favorite artworks of Draken and Mikey. Pretty sure this is from an anime, or not from the anime, I'm sorry, from a magazine. I love this artwork, and I have it in so many different mediums, because I just... I, I think it's precious. <laughs> so I don't regret having so many artwork of this like one scene. And this is the festival, Draken and Mikey. And it looks like they're holding Peak J, but I don't know if that's supposed to be Peak J. It might just be a random cat, but um, look how cute that is. So wholesome. That's the back. So this artwork will become a reoccurring theme in my collection because I just there's something about that artwork of like Mikey like playing with the little cat while Dragon's carrying it. So sweet. And then finally the last clear file is the clear file of Mikey. And this is just some more individual scenes of Mikey. And then that's the back. So I I love I love these clear files, particularly this one and Baji's. I really think they did great with ours, but alrighty, that was my many, many clear files for the month. Um, I, I can quickly tell that clear files are becoming the one thing I love to buy and collect, just because they are so cheap and kind of easy to store. So we're just gonna flip this down and kind of see what else is in this box because to be honest I'm not 100% sure either. Oh! <laughs> so we have another well packaged item and it looks like I have a shit ton of Tokyo Avengers cam badges this time. <laughs> oh lord. Okay let's just uh, let's just go guys. <laughs> so let's start off with these tiny ones. These kind of go together, but not really. Um, they're like the glittery cam badges. So the first one I actually picked up was from uh, Sano Shinichiro, Shinichiro, which is Mikey's older brother. I 
The more I discover about Shinichiro, the more I am really liking him as a character. He doesn't have that much merch yet, so I'm glad to be picking these up when I can. Even though this is like a chibi art style, these cam badges are so glittery and pretty. And on the flip side, I got picked up Mikey, and this is his battle outfit from the Bloody Halloween fight. So these two, they kind of look like they're going head to head, which is kind of cool <laughs> in a way. And then I picked up two of Baji, so I picked up the Valhalla Baji. And then I also picked up um, Baji whenever he met Shifu Yu, and these kind of look like they are going head to head. So I'm really glad I had these, they're super cute, they were a really good price, and you know, you got a character that you don't always see too much of. And then this clear file, I was really interested about this. I'm gonna take this one out of the package. Cause this is a leather, not clear file, cam badge. This is a leather cam badge and I've never had a leather cam badge before. I just wanted to see like, yeah, is it okay? And yeah, this is really weird. I don't think I would really suggest ordering. I don't think I would ever order another one of these personally, but this is what it looks like. Is um very interesting. That's the back. And this looks like the scene where Mikey is like meeting up with the captains from in front of the bathhouse. That's interesting. I just want to see what that would be like to own. But yeah, so you know, it takes some risk here and there. It's the name of the game here. And then I picked up two 75 millimeter can badges. Um. Some of my favorite scenes in Tokyo Avengers, I got them in cam badges. I also have this scene in many different mediums throughout my collection, but I just love it so much. And this is the Draken and Mikey, like, fight in the bathhouse. Because this is truly, like, one of the times where you truly get to see Mikey happy and, like, as a child, and it just doesn't last. So it's nice to have that. And then, of course, we have my favorite... One of my favorite color panels only cut in half, so you have Takamichi and Mikey. Adore those. And then, staying in the realm of cam badges, I ended up picking up a, two sets of four. And these are 30 millimeters, maybe? Not 100% sure, but I picked up Keisuke Baji's um, set of cam badges for his character. And then, of course, I ended up getting my keys. So, I love these. I'm glad to have these in my collection. <laughs> and then the next thing I have here is my first pinched strap in my entire collection. And this is a little pinched strap of my key. He looks super cute here. So cute. Can't wait to display that. And then, um, just some random items I have here are I picked up some chapstick and I picked up my favorite characters but not my favorite flavor so I picked up Bocce's but Bocce's is grape flavored don't really like grape but that's cool I don't know if I'm ever gonna open these and then I picked up Mikey's and Mikey's is apple flavor which is interesting <laughs> but you know maybe you don't know because I don't even know <laughs> And then I picked up, I found another cam badge here. So this is a little cam badge of Mikey. I love Mikey in this scene. And to be 100% honest, I don't know where what scene this is Mikey from. I think this is from the Valhalla arc, but I'm not 100% sure. And then I picked up an acrylic card, which I do have another one coming. This one just happened to make it because the other one's in C-mail. And this is a Baji in the kimono artwork and uh this is one of my favorite artworks of baji i did not pick up the clear file or the acrylic stand which i probably should have but anyways this is baji they fucking nailed his face in this artwork i love this clear card and it's actually a really cool premise because you can just slide it into a like card protector and god damn that is small okay wow these are smaller than I expected, but I ended up buying a lot more acrylic stands, even though I'm trying to cut back on acrylic stands. So they they had 
like this collection where they were spilling out Tokyo Revengers in letters, but I only picked up the ones that had Mikey. So I picked up Mikey's, which are the O and the K. And then I picked up the R and the S because it has Mikey. And then it has, this is from the closing. So they have Draken, Mikey, or Draken, Takamichi, Chifuyu, and the captains. I thought these were going to be bigger than what they are. So it's a good thing they're small, but um, I know I didn't pay that much for them, but um, damn, I just expected them to be a little bit bigger. They're cute. I'm glad I have them and they're going to be easy to display because they're like that fucking big. And then I picked up a diorama of Draken and Mikey. This one is smaller than I expected to, but I'm okay with that as well. And it's just them two in the back. So I really love this. I was thinking about picking up Shifuyu and Bajis, but I decided it can stay because Mikey is just my favorite character. So I would rather have more merch of Mikey than I would of Baji in the end. And then these two acrylic stands, I picked up one of these just because I don't have any other artwork in this medium, like any medium of this artwork, so I really wanted it, so I just figured, fuck it, I'll get an acrylic stand. And that is, uh, this is from a magazine, I believe, originally, but this is Kazutora, Threatening Mikey. I don't have a clear file of this or anything, so I picked it up in acrylic stand form. And then I picked up this acrylic stand. You see, I picked up this acrylic stand just because it's my favorite artwork of Mikey and Draken. So these are really small and I'm glad because that means they can be easily displayed. And then I have two more acrylic stands. I have one of Satoru Gojo. I collect Satoru Gojo everything. This kind of matches the travel sticker, but I have a... Um, an obscene amount of Satoru Gojo acrylic stands and that's just gonna add to it. And finally I have Mikey in the RFG um, artwork. I really like the base. The base is kind of what sold me but I really like Mikey in this artwork so you know I'm glad I have it. And then the last three items from this bag is this is bigger than I expected it to be. <laughs> this is actually really embarrassing. <laughs> So the next item I picked up was um, a Chihuahua fan of Mikey, and this is a fan fan with hearts. This is just like real fangirl level shit. Yeah. I have no words for that. It's just real fangirl level shit. And then I ended up getting two acrylic coasters because I was sick of drinks ruining my um, desk. So I picked up two acrylic coasters from Tokyo Revengers, and now I don't even know if I want to use them as coasters because I don't want to put drinks on them, but that's stupid, I know. <laughs> the first one I have here is just of Mikey, it looks amazing as always, and then finally I picked up the Draken and Mikey one. So I, I picked those up with good intentions, and now I don't know if I am actually going to be able to use them. We are getting towards the bottom of this box. Y'all ain't even gonna, gonna fucking front with y'all. I don't know what the fuck this is. <laughs> wow. Um, there's some kind of cards. Probably stickers, maybe? I don't know. I ain't got a fucking clue, guys. Wow. Okay, so the next item I picked up <laughs> is once again of the Mikey and Draken favorite artwork. This is a mouse pad because the mouse pad I have is boring and ugly, so I wanted to replace it. <laughs> so I'm going to replace it with that one. And then I had to get another 75mm cam badge holder because... Mine is filled with Tokyo Avengers can badges, 24 of them. And then I got another premium postcard holder, and this is from um, When They Cry. I can't think of the Japanese name, X San Rio. I did watch this anime. The anime was alright. 
I watched the new one that just came out in 2021. I liked it. It was very brutal, so that's why I liked it. But I um, love these little premium postcard holders because I collect all the postcards. So I try to pick those up whenever I see really cute ones or ones with shares I really like. Or if I catch them on sale, I will buy them. And I'm just going to open one random one of these. This is from the brand Inski, which makes me think these are some kind of card. I just don't remember what these are. So they're from Juicy Kaisen. Get them in a little pack, and then there's 20 of them. These are all the ones you can get. So I will open these off camera, and I don't know if I'll ever show you which ones I pull, but let's see. Oh! It's chewing gum. Okay. And then with the chewing gum, it comes with a set of two. So you get little chewing gum, which is fucking hilarious. Actually, pretty sure I had to order some Tokyo. I'll, I'll talk about that later. But so you get, it comes in like a little tray thingy. You get two pieces of gum and then you get two stickers. I think these are stickers. Yeah, these are stickers. So you get two stickers. So the first one I got was a Mahito. And then the second one is of the Black Flash Nobara and Yuji Story. So that's really cool. I love stickers. I I mean, I'm really glad I have these because I clearly forgot I ordered them. <laughs> and stickers are an amazing collector's piece. So give me just a moment. I'm going to go grab that one box from Dekai Anime. And then... This will round out these couple of orders that I got. So give me just a moment, guys. Alrighty, so the last item I have here is from Jujutsu Kaisen, and this is a prize figure. I like collecting prize figures more than I like collecting scales, just because you can have more prize figures, and I am more willing to buy characters I don't love when they're in prize figure form for the price. But with this particular character, I have severely had to stop buying figures of this one character just because he has so many getting released. And I just, well, A, I don't know if I want all of them, and B, I just don't have the space for all of them. So, like, I brought these first three prize figures, like, because I was like, oh, I love this character. Can't wait to have, like, prize figures and, like, scales of him. And then they kept coming. And kept coming and kept coming. So now I'm just like very hesitant to buy prize figures of this character until I know I love them. So I would rather watch other people get them, unpack them, and then kind of like let me sit there and decide if I want to pick them up. Not because I don't want them, because like, I truly want all of them. I just don't have the space for them. And that is a Satoru Gojo. So this is a Bondi Spirits price figure and that's what it looks like on the back and I'm kind of like eyeing my price figures over there and I don't have a Satoru in this pose which is really good so I am quite pleased I don't have a Satoru wait no I lied I do have a Satoru in this pose but he's unblindfolded he's unblindfolded so that's fine but um, I am severely holding back on buying Sotoru Goldro figures after this one. I did pick this up off of Dekai Anime. They are a European based um, anime company, like figure company. They get a lot of prize figures in and like a lot of ones that don't come to like Ami Ami and write stuff. And I mean honestly they're not that bad of a price and they do ship to the US and they get here in like a week. So it is about a month or two behind the Japanese release, but it is actually sometimes a little bit cheaper depending on how much the figure is in Japan, but glad I have this. I mean, clearly I'm not going to give it up for the world. I'm going to unbox them, put some B-roll footage, and then put them on my Satoru Gojo shelf. He did just get another Nindroid announced for the Jujutsu Kaisen movie, and honestly, I don't know if I'm going to pick it up. Just because Satoru wears such a basic outfit, and the only difference is, like, the wrappings on his head. Like, he's he has bandages instead of a blindfold. And kind of just for that, like, vein, like, in that reason, I don't know if I, unless I see, like, the accessories that come with that scale or that nindo, I don't know if I want to spend that much 
on that Nindroid because it's more than his base price Nindroid was. So we'll see. He is, that, that Nindo is out for pre-order and I have not pre-ordered him yet. So we'll just see how it goes in the end. But anyways, you guys, thank you so much for coming on this journey with me. This one was a little bit shorter, but still fairly, so fairly full of shit. If you enjoyed this video, you could leave a like, you could leave a comment, you could subscribe, or you could do none of the above, because honestly, it's your life, and you do you. I'm just here on the internet to talk about my fucking poor shopping skills, like my very poor money management skills. But I hope you guys have a wonderful night, I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend, and I will definitely see you guys in a later video. I'll catch you on the flip side, stay cool then guys, bye!